Hey guys, so let's talk about nootropics. Nootropics are also called smart drugs, memory enhancers, neuro enhancers, cognitive enhancers, intelligence enhancers. Basically, they improve your cognition, your memory, your motivation, and your attention through a drug interaction that happens in your brain. Now, uh, if you've ever seen the movie Limitless, you've heard of the drug NZT48, which is a fictional drug that allows the user to become extremely smart really quickly. He can tap into all of the memories and experiences he's ever had and perform extreme mental tasks. Now, one thing you need to know about nootropics is that they will not increase your performance this much. I'm here to teach you about them and make you aware of their existence. Now the first is L-theanine. And L-theanine and caffeine kind of go together to increase your attention. Caffeine can be found in coffee, tea, and other caffeinated beverages, but you can also get it in pill form. The third nootropic for beginners is Bacopa Moniera, which is commonly used to enhance memory. Now if you've ever worked out, you've probably heard of the workout supplement Creatine. And this supplement is an anti-fatigue drug. It is usually a powder mix that you mix with water. You should use a scoop or a scale to measure out this drug. I would say it's pretty safe, but you have to drink lots of water with it. I have personally tried this and it works. It helps you not get as tired as quickly whenever you're performing a workout. And my personal favorite is B-complexes. These are mood enhancing and energy boosting drugs. Stuff like B12. I commonly take this. Actually, I take B12 every day. Now you should know that exercise has been found to produce profound psychological, physical, and cognitive benefits. And sleep is very important too. And if you don't get enough exercise or, or enough sleep, these nootropics will not work as well as they could. Always do personal research and consult a professional physician before trying these. And you can also check the official subreddit in the link below. Now stacking is a term when you take more than one nootropic at a time, such as caffeine and creatine. And what happens is sometimes they don't have any interactions, but sometimes they'll have extremely good or profoundly bad interactions. When you start stacking nootropics, make sure you add them one at a time so you know which one can cause a bad reaction. Also, I want to cover drugs like Adderall, Synfetamines, and Racetrams. Now, these three type of drugs are used for people who have deficits. They are commonly prescribed for people who have deficits. If you do not have a deficit and you are not prescribed these drugs and you take them, eventually you will develop a tolerance, just like all the other nootropics. This means that you have to take an increased dose in order to feel the same effects. And eventually, you will get increased side effects. You should also know that for the nootropics that I listed, there are no long-term studies, which means there are no studies after 12 weeks. Also, to track your progress, create a Cambridge Brain account to track your cognitive function. They have sub-projects such as memory, reasoning, concentration, and planning where you can see how well you're getting, whether you're improving or not. And I want to leave you with one little last tip. Always do tons of research, find anecdotes that other people have used, and you should also understand that everyone is different and will thus react differently. One person's success story may be your failure. Take all of this with a grain of salt and know that this is an informational video. If you have ever taken a nootropic, leave a comment below of your experience. Also, if you'd like more videos on specific nootropics, leave a comment below of the nootropic that you'd like me to review, and click the like button. Also, for more videos on self-experimentation, check out my videos on polyphasic sleeping and lucid dreaming. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more awesome videos like this.